Obrigado. What's up, guys? Welcome to another vlog, another Hit The Road Madeira vlog. Today we are tasting the best meat in the world, which happens to be in Funchal at a place called La Vaca Negra, right? But first, before we get into this whole thing, check out this epic sunrise we had last week at Pico Cuivo. It's spectacular. Looking forward to this day for so long. So long. Ah. Today we're porish polishing. <laughs> Today we're polishing. Today we're polishing the the easy jets. poor car has been in the sun for so long that uh, it really needs a lot of love and care and only yesterday did we actually get it back from the mechanic for its uh, general service and it's back on the road which means we're now two on the road me and Hugo me with the easy jet and Hugo is in the beast, as you all know. So for those of you who don't know, this car was my second car in the business, in the tour business, hit the road Madeira. For those of you who also don't know, we are a tour company, the best tour company in the world, who happens to be in Madeira. And the guy who sold me this car, sold it to me orange and at first I was like dude what the hell am I gonna do with an orange car you know and uh, this is probably one of my biggest lessons in life about turning negatives into positives I gave it this nickname of the easy jet you know because we very often in Madeira above the clouds so I'd say look we're flying and they go wow it's like we're in an airplane and I was like yeah you're in the easy jet that was always a big hit This is the only time ever that I'm a perfectionist when I'm cleaning something. <sighs> okay, I think we're about halfway. It means it's time for a break. The best Mandera wine in town. This is homemade wine from the house. As you can see, I'm getting ready for, uh, for next year's. Next year's wine, or this year's wine, should I say. Whew! What? way to go you know it's looking good it's shining and that's kind of the way I want it but obviously with COVID you know us and I'm sure many other companies what we've been looking after has been the bare essentials so you know we've been making sure that the brakes work that the engines are working that all the important stuff is working and now that things have started to move you know thankfully we've got a one more car on the road we've got three jeeps one is still aside and it's probably going to stay aside for a while until we're a little bit more stable and i'm super excited because as a tour company we're becoming a lot more refined we know exactly who we are we know exactly what we're doing there's only but good things coming for hit the road tours madeira so stay tuned and like and subscribe to the channel because even though today is a little bit of an improvisation 
there are great videos coming for sure. So we're gonna make a little pit stop real quick before showing you the best meat in Funchal and possibly the world at La Vaca Negra. I can't wait, all this hard work has made me just a little bit hungry. shop land for by former there and uh, he's one of the guys I go to whenever I need parts and for many years he's been helping me out and today we're getting some stuff some much needed little details like uh, windscreen wipers for the beast because they're already kind of falling apart <laughs> remember I said all the important stuff works but all the little things has been a kind of tough no way Omar is that <laughs> And some cool stuff like a little Portugal flag for the back of the, the easy jet. The other Jeep can wait. <laughs> Like it. So really, the moral of the story is all about gratitude. I'm just so grateful for the opportunity I've been given to get this car back on the road. Not only is it sentimental to me because it's the EasyJet and it's the car that helped me through my business so much and grew my business so much and it's a part of me so much that so many people out there including some of you guys know me almost synonymously with this car with the easy jet and i can't wait to get it back on the road that being said we've been working really hard and now it's time for us to go and get some grub at one of my favorite places in funchal with one of my best friends in funchal marco I can't wait to show you guys La Vaca Negra. It's good. Marco. Hello, amigo. Thanks, Mo. Yeah. How are you guys? Bye, bye, bye. Bem-vindo aqui ao nosso estabelecimento a Vaca Preta. Bora para dentro. Bora, bora. Welcome back. Welcome back. Marco's got the best meat in Punjal. Yes. So uh, if you want to try meat Argentinian style. Yes, Argentinian style. This is the place to go. Yes, but this, uh, the beef comes from the Azores, but we make it like Argentinian style. So you should try, it's very nice. Actually, you guys should go and have a look. You want to show it's them? It's as good as the Hicks we have with them. Why yes. don't you, you go and show them. Go, go and show them the, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the whole Come, come, come. This is provolone cheese over here with bolo do caco. One of the best starters in Madeira, if not the world. Of course, we are the best in the world. Yeah? So, uh, ladies, dig in. My personal trainer is going to kill me. Andrea, I'm sorry. Andrea, if you're watching, I'm so sorry, man. Please don't send me to the giraffe. Do you remember the giraffe? <laughs> yeah, you gotta see the, the last video to know what the giraffe is.
still the best beats in the world. I had this idea. So I've been wanting to adjust the Sunset Tour for a while. All of our tours have been selling out, East Tour, West Tour, Sunrise Tour, and the private tours, but the Sunset Tour, it's a great tour. I'm not saying that it's not a great tour. The Sunset in Pico Coivo, Pico do Arieiro, is amazing. But it needs a little special something. And I thought, I saw somebody on Facebook talking about this, uh, this idea about paying me dinner and before all of you guys go, oh, this guy wants free dinners and whatever, like, this is work, all right? And a lot of the times I've had friends here who have bought me dinner, who are clients, that are friends, that get to know me and get to know more about Madeira because they get to know me better, right? And I thought, okay, maybe, maybe we should do something like a buy me a dinner thing. But I'm thinking, maybe, Maybe I should do a sunset tour and after you book the sunset tour, you have the option of buying me dinner. So we go up and we see the sunset and whatever and instead of taking you back to Funchal, back to your hotel or whatever, then you can choose to go out to dinner somewhere and you pick up the tab and I eat with you. And that way you can pick my brain about other things to do in Funchal other things to do in Madeira, activities, whatever. I can even call some people and book some things for you. I don't know. Or we just have a chat about whatever, you know? And if you don't wanna buy me dinner, then I'll just drop you off at a place where you can have a great dinner or take you back to your hotel. It's an idea. Let me know what you think in the comments. Maybe, you know, I'm thinking it over. I'm thinking it's a good idea, but I'd like to hear what you guys think. So. Hook us up in the comments, let us know what you're thinking of this video, what you're thinking of the vlog, what do you think of the buy me a dinner concept, and when are you coming to Madeira? And that being said, thank you to everyone who has been a supporter of the vlog, you guys are awesome. This is a family, family restaurant, and I absolutely love this. So without, you know, I'm done talking, I'm just gonna eat. Like, you know, just, yeah, hey, let's, let's eat something. Oh, yes, thank you, Marco. Do you remember, do you remember when we first met? Um, yes, I did, I do. Uh, that was a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, six, seven years. Probably, somewhere Yeah, around. about like that, yeah, yeah, when, I remember. When, I started, I, yeah. when, when you were starting and I was starting too. Exactly. You yes, yeah. we were starting together. Yeah. We were fighting to get customers together. <laughs> yes, it's true. Yeah, yeah. It's true. That's and true. we did it. We did a good job together. We always been a good partnership, you know, very good. Uh, everybody that goes on the ride with them always say good stuff about the Hit the Road. Very good. Everybody that comes here say, Hit the Road is the best. We want to repeat next year, things like that. And like, your re like your restaurant is the same. We yeah. want to repeat last year, next year. Oh, that sunset yesterday was amazing. It's crazy. When you called me, I was looking on Facebook, your photo <laughs> like that, with the clouds down there. It was so good, man. Yeah. I was, honestly, when you, when you called me this afternoon, I was looking at this picture yeah, on Facebook on this sunrise this morning. It was yeah. so nice, so nice. Nice well, sunrise. Anyway. Marco, thank you, man. No, thank like, you. Let's uh, make, you know, yeah. Toast on that. To another, yes. to another yes. great partnership. Good businesses, great partnership. Everything. Good friendship as well. Yes. Good friendship. Thank, thank you. you. And cheers, cheers guys. To you guys. Cheers to you. That was very hard to achieve what we are now. It's not easy, honestly. It's lots of work, lots of friendship with other people, making friends with everybody. And this friendship is just what makes us people feel secure about us, you know? I think so. I think so. It's like here, it's like here. It's so many people that want to come back to Madeira just to be with us, you know? Just to be with us. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, true, man. it's true, it's true. And, and we got to think it's something special, right? Yes, like... yes. All, uh, all, all businesses, like restaurant business, any, any type of business, we don't want to make customers, we want to make friends, and that friends are our customers. Yeah. I think so. Couldn't have said it any better, man. Yeah.
Yeah. And on that bombshell, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode. Remember, every Monday at 7 o'clock, we're releasing videos. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hey, uh, how, yeah. do say, how do you say? How do you say? Like, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Like and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Thanks, Marco. Thanks a lot, Bacanegra. I will see you guys soon. Don't book your tour too late because we're already full. So go ahead and book a tour. If you haven't booked a tour, you get 21% off everything booked in 2021 because it's 2021, you know, after the pandemic. This is good stuff, man. I know. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Ciao.